When it comes to prostate cancer, new technology is giving new meaning to the term watch and wait. This new technology is allowing local doctors and their patients to be more active and more accurate in their surveillance. Health specialist Denise Tador explains. 70-year-old Michael Lewis of Ventura and his wife love to cook and entertain. To continue his active lifestyle, he stays on top of his health and gets regular screenings for prostate cancer. And he said, you don't have cancer, not a problem. He said, you've got an elevated PSA, maybe connected with your age. An elevated PSA doesn't always mean cancer. So Michael elected to take a watch and wait approach, which usually means getting an ultrasound biopsy to locate a tumor. If doctors find one, men can forego treatment and keep an eye on what happens. But ultrasound alone is not foolproof. For perhaps the past 30 years, prostate biopsy has been formed in, performed in a blind fashion. UCLA's Dr. Leonard Mark says, unlike other solid tumors, an ultrasound can't actually see inside the prostate. Our pattern has been to sample the prostate in a, what we think is a systematic fashion, but we don't aim at tumor. Sometimes a cancer can be missed. Now doctors are taking aim with a new targeted biopsy which uses a multi-parameter MRI that looks at anatomy, blood flow, and tissue density. A 3D image is fused with real-time ultrasound, giving doctors a clear view of a suspicious region. Which have a very high probability of containing a cancer. Using this technology, UCLA researchers retested 113 men who had conventional biopsies. All of them were told they had slow-growing tumors. But this test revealed that 36% of them actually had aggressive cancers. And those who don't have a fast-growing tumor get peace of mind. Michael took part in the UCLA study. His tumor turned out to be aggressive. Fortunately, he found it, which I was delighted because otherwise I'd have been walking around in the dark and I could have been dead in six months' time because I would have been walking around totally ignorant. Today, he feels like a cat with nine lives and is grateful the new technology saved his life. In Westwood, Denise Dador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.